South Korea's foreign ministry is set to announce its stance on the review of the controversial 2015 deal between Seoul and Tokyo on Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women. Clear on the deal's failings, the Moon Jae-in administration will reveal its follow-up measures, though a renegotiation isn't expected to be on the cards. Kwon Jang-ho with the details. Seoul has confirmed that follow-up measures will be announced on Tuesday to the 2015 bilateral agreement between South Korea and Japan on Japan's wartime sex slavery, which President Moon Jae-in has described as defective. This comes less than two weeks after a government task force review strongly criticized the deal that was reached by the previous administration and Tokyo for failing the victims by not adequately involving them enough. However, according to government sources, the administration is not expected to scrap or ask for a renegotiation of the deal immediately, as some have called for. Instead, the government will pass the responsibility on to Tokyo to take responsible steps to address the controversial aspects of the deal. The decision comes as South Korea's Northeast Asian Affairs chief, Kim Yong-il, hosted a meeting with his Japanese counterpart, Kenji Kanasugi, in Seoul on Monday. Although South Korea's foreign ministry said that the two had discussed various bilateral issues, the 2015 deal was at the forefront of their agenda, and most likely the meeting was the chance that Seoul took to inform Tokyo of its follow-up measures regarding the deal before Tuesday's official announcement. Meanwhile, early in the day, Seoul's top nuclear envoy, Yi Do-hun, also met with Kanasugi, who also acts as Tokyo's representative for the stalled six-party talks. The foreign ministry said the two discussed the upcoming inter-Korean talks. They are said to have agreed that while they must ensure security in the region, they must also cooperate and use this opportunity to try and draw North Korea out to further significant discussions. The foreign ministry also announced that Yi will travel to the U.S. on Wednesday to meet with his Washington counterpart, Joseph Yun, and brief the U.S. nuclear envoy on the meeting with Kanasugi and on last week's meeting with Beijing's nuclear envoy. Yi will also discuss with Yun and other White House officials the results of the inter-Korean talks and further North Korea-related issues. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.